Alright, g'day guys, welcome back tonight to another Campaign Cartographer 3 video. Uh, tonight we're going to be looking at a new add-on called Character Artist 3. Basically this is an add-on that's designed not for creating maps, uh, but in this case for creating pictures of player and non-player characters. Alright, so let's jump over and have a look. Alright, so in front of me you can see I've already got the tool running. Uh, you can see here I've uh, made this uh, young lady here, she's a... Uh, a human warrior I guess, um, got some magic abilities on her, so she's got a magical shield and a magical weapon um, and you can see she's uh, she's armoured up wearing a kilt um, and you know, and this this was created in Cam, uh, Character Artist 3 um, oh, in a period of about five minutes to be honest, it didn't take long at all. Alright, so let's go and let's try this again, we'll go File New, uh, we're not going to save the changes, we're just going to go New Character and you can see there's two standards here. Um, two styles, sorry, so there's the original style from uh, Campaign uh, Cartographer Pro by the looks of it, or Character Artist Pro, and then there's a new one. We're going to go ahead and use the new one because it looks cooler. Uh, we're just going to use the default options, save over this file. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come along and basically click this button up the top left here. And we're going to pick what type of person we're going to make. So we're going to pick the sex, we're going to pick the race. Um, I'm going to go with an elf. I'm going to make a male elf today. And I'm going to start by putting his torso in. Alright, and there we go. I'm going to make... What I did there, sorry, it was on an angle. I'm sure walks you through that. It was on an angle, like that. All right, which obviously is weird. So I right clicked. Um, this this window comes up. I just go set normal, and click more, and it just puts it back to normal how it should be. So it just must have remembered something that I was doing previously. All right, we're going to put the torso in. Um, then I like to come in and put some legs. All right, then I'll come through and put some arms. That's for a two-handed weapon. That looks like it's for a shield. There we go. As you can see, he's already starting to come to life. Um, just while we're here, I'll basically explain some of the options that we do have. You can see here that we've got some um, symbols with little color symbols up on the top left. They're the ones, by the way, where you can click the color pattern, pattern or palette here and change the color. And that will update that, that uh, symbol. Uh, if you see a plus symbol next to something, most of the time there'll be an option in there for changing colour. As you can see, that does exist here. Alright, so that's really cool. Alright, now this guy here, I'm designing him as an elf. So, we're going to come along and put some... Um, some armor. I'm actually no. I might start with pants. Pants is probably a better way to start this guy. There we go. Pants. Then we put some armor on him, and then we'll put some shoes. And probably not pirate boots. Uh, I kind of want that armor to go over my boots, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the delete tool, click on the edge of this and go right click do it. There we go. I might not even put armor on this guy to be honest, I might just make him more of a, like a forest. Like a forest guy, kind of like that. I might expand this though, what options have we got? We do have a colored option. Let's use a dark green. There we go. So look, that, that's pretty easy. And as you can see, I'm not I'm not having to position any of these guys. It's snapping into place, which is really cool. Uh, we're going to come in here and create a head. I'm going to go with a blank head. I'm using my scroll button to go in and out. I'm going to come along and get some elf ears. He can be a druid, maybe, which would explain why he's got the funny coloured eyes. Yeah, that's failing to find my click. 
I could have changed my eye color then, by the way, because if I wanted to, I could pick the different eye colors before I put it in, just by changing the color. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and give him a tattoo. Make him a bit unique. All right, we're going to need some lips. And we are certainly going to need a nose. Oh, lost my lips. All right, there we go. So we've just smashed out that. Uh, there you can see where my lips went and my eyes went. So I use the delete call uh, system and just basically select them and go right click do it. Don't know why that went up there. All right, so now we've got our guy. He's going to need some hair though. So. We'll go to the face option here. We'll grab some hair. He's probably, there we go, that'll look quite like that. That'll be some dreads. Go black, that would make sense. And there we go. All right. Um, gonna need some weapons maybe maybe a leather all right and then in the other one oh, I think we'll have some sort of weapon what have we got we can have a whip there we go all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna put something on his back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bow. Actually, we could come up here and use the actual weapons option, which is the bows and the weapons that don't have anything um, taken out of it. Uh, we're going to hold shift and we're going to rotate. I'm going to hold shift and control. Actually, I'll turn off snaps to do this. I'll hold control and do shift and rotate, which is like a free rotate. I want that to be on his back. All right. But then if I do a refresh, you'll see that that's in the front of everything, which is not ideal. Now, if we go up to our sheets and we have a look at our sheet structure, if you watch my other videos, you'll know that the background is everything at sort of the very back and everything in front of the background is in front of the thing behind it. All right, so the arms left glove will be in front of the arms weapons. that will be in front of the left weapons. So this is coming in as an arms right weapon, which is right at the front. We kind of want that to be right at the back so cloak back or quiver would be a good option so how are we going to do that we're going to use our change properties button over here we click that we click the edge of the item that we're looking for in that case it makes a box and I can drag it once you've got the pink article around it we can right click and go do it and we're going to change our sheet here and we're going to go to our cloak back all right if we refresh that's now at the back of the character all right, so that's really simple. All right, so as you can see, that uh, only took a couple of minutes and I've managed to basically whip up a good looking NPC character um, that I can now show to my players. Obviously, I'm, a, I'm an avid Realmworks fan, um, user, so for me, I would have this character loaded into Realmworks and I can now show the character to my players at the table um, via the, the monitor that I'm facing them. Um, and this is just a really easy way to sort of give them a visual representation of who they're playing with at the table. And I think that's really cool. Um, if you're not uh, an RPG player and you're just looking for NPC art, fantastic. This, could, uh, this tool could obviously be used for yourself as well. Um, just so everyone knows, um, Campaign Cartographer 3 Plus does have a commercial license. All right, so that basically means that once you purchase the product, you are free to basically sell um, images that you make within it, as long as the artwork is basically going to allow that to happen. In this case here, I've only used the default artwork that comes with the add-on, which means, yes, I can sell this if I wanted. So I think that's really cool, and that's something that's really starting to sway my decision on what products I buy, uh, because eventually I'd like to release some um, content for the uh, content market in Realmworks, or in my case, the community dungeon that we're working on. You know, anything that I release in there is going to need to be commercially acceptable to release, and using a tool like this uh, allows that, which is really cool. All right, so as you can see, I'm quite a fan of him. Uh, we could give him a name as well, by the way. Um, we'll call him 
Fred. All right, so that's really easy. Oh, you can see it's actually gone to a different font. So we'll go Fred. So that's really easy. And then you can come in here, activate your sheet effects, and you're ready to basically export that. All right, guys, so that's Character Artist 3. Um, as you can see, it is really simple. It is really quick to make a character. Um, and, you know, if, if characters are, is something that you're looking for, I strongly suggest you check it out. Um, it does have some limitations in that, obviously, the art that I'm playing with is, is drawn um, so that it can be placed on top of other art. So that means your, um, your catalogue of items is going to always be restricted with what's been drawn. Um, but you can basically uh, change the shape of people as well. You can make them wider, make them thinner, make them larger, make them smaller. All right. And I've heard there's clever people out there who draw on top of it as well and make them look older and yeah, cool things like that. I'm not that clever. All right, guys, there it is. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments or if there's videos you'd like to see, please do leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you do find my videos helpful, please do subscribe so we, uh, uh, you know when new videos are coming out. Uh, and apart from that, guys, have a great night and we'll speak to you on the forums.